welcome to our devotion. Yesterday I headed down into town to go to the office uh, after having last been there uh, a little over two weeks ago. I've been battling a, a little bout of flu and it's um, challenged me a bit. But yesterday as I sort of reversed out of the garage, um, it was drizzling a bit and I said, thank you, Lord, uh, because I am dry in my car and I actually won't get wet even when I get to the office because I park undercover. I headed down um, Old Main Road and usually use Stockville Road to try and avoid some of the traffic and there was this family who had been doing some early morning shopping at the checkers there in Gillets and obviously there was one income in that family. It's just been, I guess, Sasa Grant Day. But the whole family was there to help uh, carry the four or five packets and the 10 kilograms of millipup and the 10 kilograms of rice. And I again said, thank you, Lord, that I have a tummy that's full. And I do have some things in my fridge and in my uh, freezer, which, which I enjoy eating. Uh, not which I am forced to out of economic circumstance. The passage this week that I want to focus on is out of Mark chapter 10, and verses 17 to 31. It tells the story of the rich young ruler. Some of the translations say rich young man. And this youngster runs up to Jesus and his disciples and he falls down on his knees in front of Jesus and says, tell me how do I have eternal life, the stuff that you are sharing, Jesus. And Jesus automatically goes back to the Old Testament and he says, he rattles off the Ten Commandments, he doesn't give them all. And he says to the young man, if you've done these, and the young man says, I've followed those uh, till this day. And then Jesus gets this twinkle in his eye. In fact, in the, I think in the Amplified Version, it's worth having a read. He just, he gets this little twinkle in his eye because he knows what he's going to say next is going to drive this young man uh, crazy. He says, there's one thing that you need to do, and that is to sell all you have give it to the poor and then follow me. The young man doesn't even think about it for a minute because it, we are told he has so much wealth. He's got so many assets. And he just turns around dejected and walks off. I may have said this thing a few times, but I have this quote that says that we judge others by their actions and ourselves by our intentions. It's a very difficult situation to be in, isn't it? Because we would tend to find ourselves being in the right all the time, but we, we can't be. We are told and we know that this grace that abounds and surrounds us and brings us close is a gift that is unmerited, undeserved. And yet we would still maybe say something or do something with the intention of being good and still fall short. So as you go out through the rest of this day, I just pray that you have a wonderful time, that you'll acknowledge God and the Holy Spirit all around you and often in those who are nearest and dearest to you, those who we so often take for granted. And we raise and lift up this country uh, into God's hands to, to keep guiding our government with wisdom and, uh, yeah, so that we can all be at the same level. May God bless you today. Amen.